Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to Community Church of Vero Beach. I am Andrew Galuska, the Director of Music and Fine Arts here today. And normally we would have a Wednesday at One program. Today is a very special Wednesday at One program. We are going to bring you music and readings of lament to hope. Uh, Elizabeth Johnson is here and Sean Sexton is here with us. We hope that you take a few minutes today and remember the horrific events of last week as we send our prayers, our thoughts, and our spirit to those who are suffering around our country and around our world. Thank you for joining us for this very special program. At one moment in, during World War I, Colonel John McRae attended and um, officiated a funeral of a friend and fellow soldier who died in the Second Battle of Ypres. And he penned a, a poem that has been uh, remembered now is probably one of the most significant uh, writings of that conflict. And I adapted, it's entitled In Flanders Fields, and I adapted that to this uh, retitled and, and um, written as an adaptation, In Learning Rooms. In Learning Rooms, they never know where they've been sent to stay and grow, to sit beneath unblinking eyes and mark their place with keening cries, with never anything to know. They were here short days ago and watched the mornings come and go, loved and were loved and sent away to learning rooms. Let your wonder come and go, there's never anything to know. That whole bright day the mothers cried and stood beneath an empty sky to stay until their voices died with never anything to know in learning rooms.
A reading from Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because... God has dealt bountifully with me. Will you pray with me? O most holy one, bring relief from the pain and suffering of our world. Help us to look to you to show us good in the midst of distress. Let your face shine on us. Bring hope and joy into our hearts once again. Allow our sleep to once again be peaceful. Let us dwell with you in safety. Amen. And a reading from Psalm 6. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are shaking with terror. My soul also is struck with terror, while you, O Lord... How long? Turn, O Lord, save my life. Deliver me for the sake of your steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who can give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with weeping. My eyes waste away because of grief. They grow weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. Will you pray with me? Sacred one, we pray for your mercy, for we are weak. Our sorrow has left us physically and spiritually in agony. How long will we have to suffer? Deliver us, we pray. Give us strength to not give up. We know that you have heard our cries and seen our tears. We know you will answer our prayers. Amen.
This is a poem by Peter Meinke, who is the current poet laureate of Florida. It was written June 12th, 2016, in acknowledgement of the Pulse nightclub massacre in Orlando. He was asked later to go to Parkland Elementary and read the poem again. One year later, time passes, sleep ravels, a smile might start. The mind can weasel out of any trap, but there's no real healing of the heart. A sour automatic can rip apart a face or year, peeling like a thunderclap. Still time passes, sleep ravels, smiles can start. She sang each morning, he ran our supermart. Each memory stings sharper than a slap. How can there be a healing of the heart? Our blood slows, thickened by a poisoned dart. My bluebird, my bow, when you nestled by my lap. Time flew, sleep unraveled, sly smiles might start. Now time's tipped over like a broken cart that scares nothing forward, not a scrap, nothing much to heal in an empty heart. And what of kindness, mercy, music, art, Oh, how we all could dance, tango, and tap. Time passes, sleep ravels, a smile can start. But there's no real healing for a stricken heart.
A reading from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Will you pray with me? Holy One, for those who have watched over us, for those who have protected us, for those who have shielded us, thanks be to the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. For the roof that shades us from the sun, for the walls that shield us from the storm, for the bed that warms us in the night, thanks be to the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. To the one who keeps us from evil, to the one who preserves our lives, to the one who watches over our coming and going, thanks be to the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. Amen. A reading from Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O oh my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O oh Lord, are my hope, my trust, O oh Lord, from my youth. Upon you have I learned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have been like a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength is spent. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, make haste to help me. For I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all day long, though their number is past my knowledge. You will increase my honor and comfort me once again. Will you pray with me? Holy One, in you alone we put our hope. God, the Holy One, creator and sustainer who gives all good things, seen and unseen. In you alone we put our hope. God, the Son, Savior, and Redeemer, who loves us more than we can imagine. In you alone we put our hope, God, the Spirit, Teacher, and Comforter, who turns our mourning into dancing. In you alone we put our hope. Amen. <laughs> 